there was a really funky ass thing that went on with Jennifer's body when they were PRing it, where they said they. I don't know if it was the reporters who positioned it this way or the studio PR people who planned the campaigns or Diablo Cody, but it was very much like, wow, this is the first feminist take on horror. And that's the biggest bag of bullshit I've ever heard in my life because female filmmakers have been making feminist horror films since, what, like 1973? So there's a real lack of understanding of, the, of history and of the horror community if you think there aren't feminist things going on in it and that there haven't been for 35 years. They discovered that Friday the 13th as a franchise would make money and until Nightmare on Elm Street broke all box office records and literally created the studio that is New Line, Hollywood could give a shit about horror. They didn't think it made money, it went straight to, to video um, and it was the playground of what I would call off Hollywood in the same way that we have an off Broadway. You know, I mean this is where the scrappers and the dreamers went that weren't told no about their material by anybody. There wasn't a filter system because they weren't getting their money from Hollywood. So um, there are actually a lot of female directors out there who did um, interesting horror stuff. There were a lot of um, directors like John Carpenter, who's an incredible feminist if you look at his work. I think that definitely there's room for female horror directors in terms of like the, the genre industry, I think, will accept them. I think the problems that they've had uh, before is that they were kind of working in the regular industry, you know, like they're working in Hollywood and working in in the regular film industry where there pro probably is a glass ceiling, you know, where there is limited, you know, limited mobility for female directors. Uh, but I think in the horror genre, like now that we're starting to see more kind of labels and mini studios and things that are devoted specifically to horror films and genre films, um, I think a lot of those people are more open to female directors and they can see the benefit of, of having their involvement. And so I think that um, by having a lot of these sort of niche organizations devoted to horror film exhibition and distribution and production, um, we're going to see the nurturing of a lot more female horror directors. When a lot of people, when, especially in the early years of the festival, they were surprised that a lot of people even said, wow, I didn't expect you to look this way. And I was like, well, how did you expect me to look? And they were like, well, all black and goth and pierced up. And, and I was like, what? What, that's your definition of what a horror, someone producing a horror film festival should look like? It was very weird to me. Why can't someone who looks like me enjoy horror as well and start a business? So... Yeah, I got a lot of, I always get that sort of thing. Um, I think people are shocked that it's run by a woman, uh, which doesn't make sense to me. Women run businesses all the time. What's the difference? It's a business. I love horror. Put them together. We got to win. You know, <laughs> what is the difference? It's tough. I'll tell you, it is really tough. And I think it's tough to just get a movie made these days. Um, but absolutely, I think that there's, there's room and there's opportunity because there's so many more outlets with the internet, with webisodes, web series, all that stuff. I think that there's more opportunity, um, but it is really tough. Um, and I'm hoping that's going to change really soon. I mean, things are cyclical and, you know, we've been going through this for a while now and hopefully things will change and maybe there'll be tax breaks for filmmakers again that help get films made. And, you know, it's going to be the writers who really make the difference because the writers are the ones who become the filmmakers. And if women are writing it and they're writing well, uh, you know, it's my belief that it's got to get made eventually. If this documentary right here was directed by a man, and that man was friends with or happened to run into another man who wrote for or was the editor of one of these big horror websites, this documentary would already have been previewed, already have a news blurb, already have some kind of teaser, something, um, without even being finished because men are friends with men, and men promote their friends' projects. It's very rare that men, especially in the entertainment industry, take f professional 
relationships seriously with women. Um, women tend to be seen as women tend to be seen as the actresses, the talent. They can't. They are great to be interviewed. They are great to look at pictures of, but very rarely um, is a woman who's made something taken seriously. It's funny because the number of reviews about my films have referred to me as he, which I think is funny. My name's Davy, so people assume ahead of time when they watch my films that I'm a man, which I like because I think that I think they're very feminine films. They're very female-friendly films, they're romantic horror musical comedies in some cases, but because there's blood and guts, people assume I must be a man. So I've gone to a few festivals where I've emailed back and forth and they haven't checked out my website or whatever, and I get there to pick up my pass and they're like, oh my gosh, you're a woman. I'm like, wow, thanks, yes, I am. So yeah, it has been interesting. But as far as being on the set, I haven't had any issues, I think, you have to just establish yourself as a director and I think whether you're a weak woman or a weak man you're gonna have troubles directing on a set and people are gonna take advantage of you but um, if you hire the right cast and crew and you take command I don't think it should matter whether you're a man or a woman. I find that I get a lot more acceptance in that culture as someone who has made a film that's making the genre festival circuit and because my, my film premiered at Sundance this year with um, Before Grace which is you know a, a horror film made by Paul Sollett and Paul's a great guy I feel like um, some of the people who have interviewed me or talked to me or who um, have become my friends would not have taken me very seriously because I just my husband's a horror filmmaker as well and my husband was involved in the Blair Witch Project and then he um, he also just made a horror he directed a horror film and I feel like I would have been a function of my husband and it would have been like some of these girls not all of them but some of these girls who it's like they're kind of hangers on and it bothers me it's like I don't want to be a hangers hanger on I want to be I want to be there in my own right and I think that because of the short film people regard me as a filmmaker and that elevates my status but I think that's interesting that it's like as a horror fan the guys are accepted but I do see that it's harder for a woman to be accepted except as sort of an accessory or it's like a guy's culture and I don't think it has to be the way but it's fascinating I went to a party um, comic or uh, sorry Fango Con in Los Angeles this year I was um, my film was in a screening there which was awesome and um, Ryan Rotten from Shock Till You Drop has a party, and actually I think it was with um, Spooky Dan, who used to be with Dread Central. Um, they, I think they had a, like a party that they co-hosted at a bar in Los Angeles. And I went to that party and was struck by how many guys were there. It, we could count on one hand the number of girls in the room, including me, for a long period of the night. And there were so few people, and, when, and actually Heather Wixon from Dread Central and um, Horror Chick showed up. And I know her just because she interviewed me once. I don't know her well, but she's she's great. And she showed up, and I was looking at her. I'm like, do you notice that like there are no women here? Like there are no girls here? And I'm fairly new to this kind of community, you know, like like hanging out with the filmmakers and journalists and that kind of stuff. People who are like in this lifestyle all the time. It like is this weird c culture. And I'm fairly new to it. And I just was sort of surprised. It's like I know other girls who like this. I don't understand why this happens. It's really an interesting phenomenon, and I don't fully get it. And I don't know what it means, but I do feel like I'm in the minority. I feel fully accepted. I don't feel unaccepted, but I feel, um, I feel like it's because I'm making something in the genre and not, and it, however small, I mean, it's a little short film, but, and however not really horror it is, but um, it wouldn't have been enough just to be a fan, which is interesting. It's funny because we were, we were standing in line for paranormal activity uh, a couple of weeks ago, or like a week ago, and um, we couldn't get in because it was so packed with all these fanboys, like all these, we were, we were walking by and all we saw was boys and, and men standing in line for uh, this horror flick that I was dying to see, I was very upset that I didn't get in. Um, and my friend said, Oh, those, they, they have taken all our spaces and she started to complain about them and I'm like, no, 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 we need the fan voice. The fan voice are good. <laughs> we need them. Um, I love the, the fans. They're, they're so uh, perceptive of, of that genre and they're so obsessive. So I can only s support them. I think there can be that huge change, that, ho that huge lump that we can get over. I mean, the more and more females that are coming up and directing and producing and doing stuff and getting their films out in the film festivals, I've seen a lot of positive attitudes, especially from men. Like, wow, she rocks. She, she did that. Or, 
You, you know what I mean? So I think it's going to come down to women are going to rule more a little bit than men. It will. I think it will be 50-50, but, but women will have an upper hand a little bit. I mean, who wants to see a man running through a forest screaming? No, nah, it works when a woman does it. You know, so I think it's going to be that 50-50, but I think women are going to take over a little bit more.